Hey guys, welcome back to another Arcane Lineage video. Wait, my bad, wrong game. Okay guys, welcome back to another Arcane Lineage video. So, there was recently the big patch. However, it didn't really land with a lot of the community. And, I mean, I can understand why. Everything in the game got gutted. Like, if we look, luck got gutted. Uh, core stats got nerfed. Half the classes got gutted. There's only a few exceptions, such as Dark Wraith getting buffed, a Paladin getting buffed, Saint Master getting buffed, Assassin getting a tiny buff to Invisible Strike, but other than that, pretty much everything else in the game was nerfed. And I'm not too sure why they nerfed so many things at once. It was like the great gut. Obviously, nobody's gonna like it if suddenly everything just is like maybe a tenth of what the power it used to be and there's changes that they could have made to minimize the amount of nerfing they had to do so for example metrom's grasp that shit was making base classes solo metrom well not solo but like base classes as a group get metrom you could just stack five and do like three thousand damage with a um a strike right but that, that got, didn't even get fixed in the patch. What got fixed was core stats having diminishing returns, crit damage being nerfed, and I do believe everything was focused around crits. However, they nerfed the luck scaling. So pretty much they just nerfed luck as a stat. So now there's two useless stats in the game, speed and luck. And for speed, I mean, they, there's only one artifact that makes speed a even, used to even make it a viable stat. And they immediately Gut it. Speed God speed speed stat buff gutted. They literally use the words gutted by 75%. And I'm still like, what? Now no one's gonna go speed. That's pretty much a straight up Lancer nerf. Like why would they do that? But I mean they do try to salvage God speed with removing heavy stun, buffing it slightly. But they just they just straight up just ruin speed and luck. And if we look at luck, reduced crit damage scaling for luck. Do you guys know what the crit scaling was as like as the patch dropped? Zero. There was zero scaling. They just removed scaling. They, they were lying. They just straight up removed it. So obviously, there was a very quick patch that was like, um, re-added crit damage luck gives. They said buffed, but it was zero, so they re-added it. And another thing, if like classes that didn't really need the nerf got nerfed. Because they nerfed the crit damage, and then they nerfed core stat diminishing returns, and then they started nerfing, like, um, elementalist. Like, hello? Why is elementalist getting nerfed? You just nerfed its stats and crit damage, which is what it did its damage based on. And then you go in and nerf the moves itself, so any new player that wants to play without blessed gear is fucked. Like, that's, that's one of my problems I have with a lot of the balancing in Arcane Lineage. Is that a lot of the nerfs are centered around the classes. The classes, the classes. But, everyone's using Blessed Gear. These, these nerfs are focused around people using endgame gear. So, why are we nerfing the players that don't have Blessed Gear? Like, if you, if you wanted to play now without blessed gear, you are cooked. If I wanted to, if I pretended I never played Arcane Lineage before, and I suddenly wanted to get into it, I won't even be able to fight the first boss in the game without blessed gear. Because one, nobody's gonna let me into a party without at least one blessed gear. And I can't fight it solo without blessed gear. Unless I'm some busted class like maybe paladin then maybe with mending and stuff i might be able to solo with dullahan max health burn but that's besides the point like no one's gonna know that if they're a new player they're not gonna know the meta like and no one's gonna go paladin just to grind bless on yarthul that's stupid so i was trying to brainstorm to myself i was in the two balanced patch stage discussions and i was uh, listening i was trying to listen to a lot now, I don't have very strong opinions about any of the classes other than the fact they all got gutted because I honestly don't play that many classes and that's just because I don't have the time 
to grind min-maxed versions of every single class in the game, especially with how rare it is to get blessed for absolutely no reason. So, for, obviously I'm a luck main. The only builds I've gone have either been support or luck main. So, obviously, I know exactly how bad luck got nerfed. And I there's two ways they could have done it. They could have either nerfed precision to reduce like nuking on other builds, or they could have added like a soft cap to luck. So to break that crit damage soft cap, you need a certain amount of luck. But instead they just straight up gut crit damage. But yeah, it's another thing. Like they, they straight up break Berserker on the patch. And I'm talking to the people on the stage, I'm talking to people that are playing, they're like, oh my god, we can't use Berserker, it literally freezes the fights whenever we use Carnage. And I'm like, damn, why don't they fix that? And, you know, I don't know if they have yet or not, I'm hoping they did, it's been over a week since they made the patch, so I'll just straight up be surprised if they haven't fixed it, I haven't talked to anyone in the Arcane Lineage community recently about it. But, another thing... I'm confident isn't completely fixed is mobile players not being able to talk to NPCs. There's been a problem since the patch that randomly mobile players won't really just be able to talk to NPCs. And like that's cool and all. Well not really, it's bad and all. And you know, they're trying to fix it and they straight up post fix an issue that caused NPCs to break on mobile. And, why, yay, yay, everyone is happy. Except when they join, it doesn't work. And somebody even in the thing goes, Received reports from players that they claim are still able to speak to NPCs. Please refer to the previous patch. And I understand if, like, it did work and people were still complaining about it. But it didn't work. So why are we trying to refer to a patch that didn't even work? And another thing I want to add in here, I'm kind of cookie cuttering this because I already did the outro when I say this, but like, this game isn't very hard. The Most of the time when you die is because of an incredibly stupid reason. So like, for example, the, some of the only times I've ever died in my entire time playing Arcane Lineage is when I'm in a party of dumbasses that don't know how to play and they quite literally kill me, or if I accidentally go into a corrupted Jarthul or like, I accidentally dodge into a Cess Anomaly in Cess Grounds, but those are the only like three specific times I can ever think of when I die in Arcane Lineage. Like I'm not going to be out here dying to Yarthul or Thorian normally. It's either because of a bug or I get one shot or some shit because I accidentally went into a Corrupted Solo. But um, yeah. And by the way, I don't want any hate to the devs. They are trying their hardest, but I think they, they have no clear direction from at least the patches and bounces they've made. They're good at what they do. They're clearly passionate about the project, but they don't really, they, I, they don't seem organized. Like it kind of just seems they're throwing in stuff and then it doesn't mesh well with the community or the game at all. It kind of just sucks. And like, they were trying to push light and dark out this month. And I'm thinking to myself, and everyone in the stage was thinking that, you can check out one of the live streams, I think on my channel. No, there's no way they're gonna be able to release light and dark if they don't fix half these bugs first. No one, like, it's not gonna work. You're just gonna add entirely new content on a system that's already broken. It doesn't work like that. I mean, I've just gotten to scripting. I'm not that good. I don't even know that much. But I think any logical person that doesn't even know how to script knows that if you add something onto something that doesn't work, it's not gonna magically start working. You have to fix your mistakes. And recently, the only good change that I think they've made was trying to fix the mobile bug and the grasp, like Metrum's grasp stacking removed. That was the best change they've made because now obviously you can't just one shot the bosses. So that's good. The bosses were never intended to be one shot. In my opinion, further balances, they should be focused around the accessories because we're at a point now where most of the classes just don't do that much without any accessories so if a class gets nerfed again they're never coming back because with 
broken or average or pristine you're not getting anywhere you need blessed to make an even somewhat decent build but aside from that i want to know what you guys think about the patch because i know there were a couple of people who thought it was reasonable but like the thought behind it was reasonable but then the execution wasn't like I, I'm at the point where they need to start putting cliff notes at the bottom of each patch on why they made the exact nerf. So, maybe for this to land better the community, if they want to keep nerfing stuff, they're gonna have to start adding reasons at the very least, because I just don't see a reason for half of these. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And another thing is that there wasn't many testers testing it. From what I know, there's only one person testing it, and I don't want hate against that tester either. It's just not really realistic for him to test every class in the game in a week, because when they made the announcement, there was only a week between then the announcement and the patch. But anyways, if y'all have any other opinions about the patch, make sure to comment them down below, and if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I have a sub goal of 1000 for a face reveal. Yay! And, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully the devs go in a better direction. I don't think we'll see Light and Dark update this month. Probably early March, if they fix some of the major bugs. But, um, yeah, the map reworks looks cool. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.